Did you know about the failed Nazi plan that sought to kill the Big Three? In this video, we'll talk about it in detail. Please subscribe to our channel and watch the video to the end. In 1943, things weren't looking good for Adolf Hitler's army on the Eastern Front. Their moment of weakness presented the Allies with the perfect opportunity to turn the tide of war. Accordingly, the big three Allied leaders, United States President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and Soviet Premier Joseph Stalin elected to hold their first ever face-to-face -face meeting in Tehran, Iran in November of that year. With the future of World War II hanging in the balance, the big three allies knew they had to be on the same page if they wanted to stop Hitler's Third Reich. The summit between the three leaders holds great historical significance. It paved the path for Allied victory because previously Churchill had been resistant to Stalin's idea of opening a Western Front to invade Nazi-occupied France to relieve the pressure the Soviets were facing on the Eastern Front. Roosevelt and Stalin spent much of the summit trying to convince Churchill to go forward with the idea, and finally he agreed to it. Now that the Big Three were on the same page, they could go forward with Operation Overlord, also known as the Normandy Landings, which famously turned the tide of war and expelled the Nazis from German-occupied France. According to authors Brad Meltzer and Josh Mensch, who had explored dramatic plots against political leaders in their books The First Conspiracy, A Plot to Kill George Washington, The Lincoln Conspiracy, The Plot to Kill Abraham Lincoln at the start of his term of office, and then The Nazi Conspiracy, The Secret Plot to Kill Roosevelt, Stalin and Churchill. The Nazis sabotaged the cables sent between Churchill and Roosevelt to uncover news of the summit. When they realised what was going to happen in Tehran, they devised a bold plan to assassinate the Big Three in one fell swoop. This one-shot triple assassination would surely change the course of the entire war. Strategically, such a plot would also have been feasible in Tehran because the Germans controlled Tehran when World War II began. This changed by 1943 when the Soviets and the British took over. However, many Nazi sympathisers remained in the region. According to Meltzer and Mensch, on the day of the summit, a team of Nazi assassins were parachuted into Tehran. Fortunately for the Allies, their intelligence agencies were not oblivious to the plot and the majority of the assassins were captured. Six of them, however, remained on the loose. Churchill was safe at the British Embassy near the Russian compound in the city. Roosevelt was staying at an American camp, but his safety was in jeopardy. So the head of his Secret Service detail, Mike Riley, decided to move him to a more secure Soviet embassy in the desert outside Tehran. Secret Service agent Mike Riley, he's the guy who looked the Russians in the eyes, heard the evidence and thought, Roosevelt, Stalin and Churchill, their lives were in danger. They could be killed in this moment, wrote Meltzer. The decision to move Roosevelt entailed a dangerous drive through the city when Nazi assassins were probably waiting on the possible routes they would take. To guarantee the president's safety, some deceit would be necessary. Accordingly, a motorcade was sent to the Soviet embassy with a decoy named Robert E. Holmes, a member of the Secret Service, impersonating the president. The summit in Tehran proceeded as planned, and none of the big three were harmed. Meltzer wrote that when the Nazis were captured and rounded up, a spy dispatched a message back to Berlin, communicating that the Allies were onto them. 
In response, the Nazis probably told the remaining assassins to stand down. The summit paved the way for an Allied victory, being the moment when, according to Meltzer, Churchill finally said, You're right, I'm in. Normandy is going to happen. When Roosevelt returned from Iran, he told reporters, I got word from Marshal Stalin they had word of a German plot. Please share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below and smash that like button.